Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Buchi Gear Match video. My name is D Free here today. We will be doing summons for the brand new Super Saiyan 3 Goku that has just dropped on the game. I believe this is the first Super Saiyan 3 in general on this game. Could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure. Anyways, that being said, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy Buchi Gear Match content, get this video up to 1,000 likes. Of course, show your support here on the channel. Uh, so previous video I did was the one up above. You guys can check that out down below. Where we went ahead and did a gameplay video featuring the brand new Ultra Instinct Goku. I do have a couple more more that I do want to do for you guys, speaking of Jiren, things of that nature, and hopefully SS3 Goku, if we can pull him here. So that being said, we are going to do some summons. So I do want to point out, though, that uh, they did have a couple of things over here that you can purchase, purchase, literally. Uh, so I did go ahead and do that. So ultimately, I have tickets now that we will be using for this character in this video in hopes of pulling him and, you know, not needing to actually pull on his literal banner. Uh, some, something like I did in my Jiren video, pretty much, if you guys saw the Jiren summon video. So that being said, though, we have the banner. We have SS3 Goku. Phenomenal unit. In fact, I have translations for you guys. So remember, I've been promising you guys some... Um, I'm going to go ahead and blow this up here. I'm promising you guys that I'm going to go ahead and get a website going. I've, I've been getting help with that from a few different people for uh, website and translations and stuff like that. So here we go. Feel free to pause it. Uh, but we do have a full-on translation for the SS3 Goku, uh, and I'll just go ahead and read it. So anyways, at the end of the round, if you're in serious mode, inflict explosion for a total amount uh, equal to the battle power if there is an ally Goku or Trunk supporter other than this card. If your opponent played a blue, green, or purple type card with an AR of 10 or more this round, inflict another explosion, uh, BP times 3 instead. Well, actually, it's not another. It's instead. Um, 10 or higher is kind of eh, because they'd have to AR up. But, use the key. Uh, but, the first one is its pretty nasty. Uh, the amount equal to your BP. If there's an ally Goku or Trunk supporter. Pretty cool. It's going to come through and just do a lot of damage, pretty much. Um, free damage at that. So, anyways. Uh, when Burst is activated for a sub-skill, you win the AR Clash. So, when you guys have the same AR, you just, you know, it would Burst, you'd win that. Uh, at the end of that round, ally supporter gains 5,000 BP per <laughs> possessed. Wow. Uh, screen reader support enabled. Cool. Anyways, um, <laughs> your cards get plus five thousand battle power. That's 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 insane. All ally supporters gain plus five thousand per key. So if you got a lot of key, you're gonna get a lot of buffs. So we definitely need this man. If you are summoning on the regular banner though, Cell is here, phenomenal unit. Still haven't done a video for him, but I've used him a lot. Uh, I have not used this unit ever, but he's pretty good from what I've seen. Uh, and then we also have this Gohan. I've used him myself, and I have not actually even acquired the Android 17 here. So we're going to go back over to the summon area. And uh, we're going to scroll all the way down to where my stuff would be. Let's see what my banner has. All right, so we have the S3 Goku. Is that, like, is that it? Or, like, you going to let me see anything? No? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, there's clearly the SSG and SSB Kaioken, but okay. Uh, okay, I guess. So we have... Regular, we have SR guaranteed, and then we have a UR guaranteed. Again, real money. Um, but th that was cool, too, because it gave the SS3 Goku sprite. So from what I've understood, some units, when you guys, you know, when you have the characters, like, oh, my home screen, if you guys see my videos, I have SS2 Gohan. Some of them you have to purchase. You just flat out have to purchase them. Uh, others you get by playing PvP. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I saw somebody with a Krillin the other day, and I was like, wow. How do I get the Krillin? Because I don't got him, right? Uh, can we go blue? We do not go blue. Vegeta, please! Vegeta, please! Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. I mean, that's fine, you know? Because I don't I don't, I don't, don't need SS3. I mean, I, I don't need him, but I don't want SS3, right? I don't, I don't know. Why would the game give me something like that? I mean, it's only our first summon, though, so we'll see what happens. I'm actually curious about that UR ticket, though, because um, I think it's, like, the first time I've pulled this unit. I got him, I think, from, like, drops. Maybe the second time ever I pulled him. Anyways, I'm curious about the UR ticket because it didn't show me any other unit on the banner. So, I mean, like, what? <laughs> but the, the art clearly had a few other URs in there, which I have those guys anyway, these other two units. Um, like... It's just, it only wants to show the Goku. Okay. You know what I can do, though? Now that I think about it, I can do this. Eh, ah, there's a lot of units. There's 12. And Goku would be the top one, right? 
Yeah, he's the top one. There's 12 units. That's not a great chance, especially because it's not weighted. They're all the same rate. It's not weighted towards the brand new unit. It's going to be kind of hard. So I'm guessing these banners are kind of the same. Yeah, okay, 12 here as well. Rate is lower, obviously, because it's not a guaranteed ticket. But we have five singles, so let's see if we can get anything in our five singles. And then we have another five singles for the SR guaranteed only. Weird ratio, but okay. It would be cool if they would have let me just kind of do a multi, but I guess. Especially because I have to sit through the summon animation every time. By the way, guys, let me know in the comments down below for today's question of the day. If you have been playing Puchigiri, which deck have you been using, right? I know a lot of you guys are probably just like clicking around, using random decks, using random cards, whatever the case is. Let me know if you found anything that you really enjoy, how it's been working out for you. I'm very, very excited to hear that. All right, so we are here with our third single. I would like for them to go Super Saiyan in the Clash so I have assurance that they're going to at least give me an SR. Hopefully I can get Vegeta at least. I've gotten Vegeta on singles. It's really uncommon, of course, but we'll see what happens. Oh, there's the Super Saiyan in the Clash. Is it too much to ask for a blue transformation? Apparently so. Is it too much to ask for Vegeta? Apparently so. All right. <laughs> this Goku's good, though. He's a really good SR. A lot of these SRs in this game are really, really good. So, excited about that. All right. So, we're going to jump into our final single on this banner. And nothing happened there. At least I got an SR in the last five, I guess, right? You know what I might have to do? I might have to actually go onto the main banner and do a pull there towards the end of this video. We'll see. All right. So, we have five. Well, not five. I thought we had five. We have three tickets here. I thought we had five. I'm certain I showed it earlier, but for whatever reason, my eyes registered five. But Okay. So we are at least getting an SR. See if we go blue. We do not go blue at all. Looks like the tickets are going to be mean to me. They're not going to be kind in this video. It certainly looks that way. But you know what? If that UR ticket winds up being SS3, it'll all be worth it. By the way, I actually did pull uh, the AR7 Gogeta that I wanted so bad. I have that unit. It was actually hilarious how it happened. I'll tell the story when I actually do the showcase. But I do finally have that unit. All right, come on. Come on. All right, get the, give me that good luck. 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 All right. Oh, you know what? I was about to say, like, damn, I'm going to want that. But I don't actually have this unit. So, like, new cards is cool by me. Any new cards is cool. That's cool. I didn't I didn't have that. I'll take it. Um that's cool. <laughs> I think this is like a first batch unit, right? Correct me if I'm mistaken. I think he was one of the first units in the game. Really, I, I I've been trying to pull that transforming one. Uh that starts off in base form and then he goes Super Saiyan if Krillin's on the bench and like I really want to pull that one because I really want to use him. He's so cool. Um unfortunately though, I didn't pull him. He's another AR8. I think Red as well. Oh, I thought Vegeta was going to show up for a second there. That is what these Goku Kamehameha's. Cool. You know what? Our last few summons being Goku's is good. It's a good omen. All right. We only have one UR ticket, yeah? Only one. <sighs> that means one chance. One chance. Again, we might have to pull on the regular banner, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Hopefully, we get lucky here. A 1 in 12 chance, pretty much. Unless I was reading it wrong, they were not weighted in any way towards the new unit. All right. All right, so Vegeta's going to pop in. Okay. That's, this game's equivalent to a fake out. All right, Vegeta. Drop that SS3. New unit at least. SS3, please. Oh, I was like, wait, what? What is this? Dang it. I have this unit. His animation's really cool, though. It's a really cool animation. I have this unit already. Of course, I get the shaft with my UR ticket. My one UR ticket. Okay, then. Fine. You know what? Fine. We'll do one multi on this banner. If not, we might be back for a part two. So I'll be right back, guys, in just a second. Okay, so we are back. This one, hopefully it's not bad. Hopefully it's not bad. At least you are. We'll see. Okay. No Super Saiyan there. Uh, are you going to do it? Don't do it. 
Oh, you did it. No! You're really gonna you're really gonna do me like that. You're really gonna do me like that. You get caught me thinking about different ways to shaft me. Mega pause. Oh my goodness, really now? Woof. Oh my goodness. Wow. Krillin, shut up. Wow. Can't lie, I'm salty about this. Especially with, oh, that, that card is fire art. Especially with my Legends luck being so good. I'm salty about this. Not going to lie to you. But that means we'll just be back for a part two. Means we will definitely be back for a part two. I'll probably wait till I have at least enough actual, like, of the in-game currency. Which is only 1,200, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, I do wish you guys good luck. This banner is not going to be here that long. Apparently, this game's banners don't last, like, super long. Like, they're not here for, like two weeks at a time really it doesn't seem so like uh since i've been playing the game for like the last month they've had like three different banner types they've had gogeta they i think broly probably came right before that i don't know but they have gogeta they had uh the ui jeer and stuff and now here we are with this and it's all over the place so this game is pumping out a lot right now so the good news though is that old cars are still really good so it doesn't really matter necessarily i see a lot of people in the upper ranks of pvp uh still being successful with uh, some of the older cards. So anyways, again, only here for another four days. So make sure you get them if you can. Anyways, have an awesome day, everyone. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, press F in the chat in the comments as well. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next Dragon Ball Z Put Your Gear Match video.